Welcome back, everybody. We're gonna do the next part. You know what? I, I, it's it's late. It's I'm done. View, isn't it? Hey, we get free stuff. We love free view. stuff. Increase. That's a shitty, shitty exotic perk. Uh, quick successive attacks with arc staff increases damage output and duration. Increases hand cannon ready. Wow! That is just terrible all the way around. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Which is I don't know this game well enough to be able to say, like, oh yeah, that's really bad. I mean, whipping out your weapon slightly faster, being able to uh, have better ammo. I mean, it's like, whatever. Why does she have a bunch of purity seals? she a space marine? Maybe. Does she fight for the emperor? She might. But no, but seriously, like, why does she have purity seals? I have no cl clue. I could not answer that if I wanted to. She just does. Who's that guy? Why does he have head fins? Uh, it's Titan. The Titan armor is like Beetleborgs? I mean, his is. Oh. He has the mask of the quiet one. Dreaded Visage. Grants melee grenade, class ability, energy, and damaged. All right. So that's what he does. All right, cool. Wait, I forget. Where do we have to go now? Um, she said stuff about things. There we go. That's where we gotta go. Nope, that's where we gotta go. What are the what are the orange shieldy sword icons? Those are adventures. Okay. The blue thingies are public events. No. And the red square is a story quest. No. So in your recommendation mm -hmm. for for jumping into like I'm a new player, right? I've never mm -hmm. played Destiny One. I'm jumping into Destiny Two. Yep. Do you recommend just playing through all the story missions first? Yes. Just play through the story <clears throat> missions. Uh, don't really get caught up doing other stuff. The story missions will level you up to max level just by yeah. doing them. Right. And you know if like right now you see how we're heading towards that red thing, but there's the blue one right here. Mm -hmm. And there's a bunch of people already here. Might as well just go ahead and join it. Okay. This is like free XP, right? Yeah, this is a free XP. You get to watch people do stuff. You get to join into... What was that big thing? That was the heroic boss. But we just wiped, whipped him. Oh, what? That was a fucking cool crown. Who was that? Wait. Oh, that? That's the Arc Soul. No. That's that little blue thingy that's following me. No, 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 no. He had a, a special type of helmet. It was, it was obviously like a... Uh, what's it called helmet? Hmm? One of the other players? Yeah. Oh, that? Yeah, look at, his, look at his hat. He's got a bitchin' like... Witch King hat. So... Ah, he's a warlock. Yeah, look how fucking cool that is! Crown of Tempest. It's a pretty cool hat. That's a that's a cool looking hat. Oh yeah. Well, I like how you just kind of like he just sort of floats. Uh yeah. So that's the thing. Like uh, each class has very different like lore backing them up. Mm -hmm. So titans are all about like defending and protecting those around them. Right. They are the wall. They are the shield that stands before the storm. That's like their thing. Right. Uh, hunters are the scouts. They're the ones that go out. They do the dangerous missions. Uh, under the cloak of darkness yeah. and they they help the city by you know mm -hmm. uh, being its eyes and ears the warlocks are like the minds in the 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 puppet masters of okay. the city uh, they study the lore they understand they they're they, like the, they're like the strategists yeah and they're the lore masters they're they're very much the strategists, the lore master they Perfect. they study the light they 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 they, they they take the information they gain from their enemies and they craft spells and gain power from them. Okay. Yep. So, like, uh, Eris Morn uh, is a hunter, but she studied, or she was friends with somebody named Tolan. And Tolan was a very prolific warlock. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that Tolan found out how to do was to bend the light and like teleport people. Okay. Like he could protect his friends by uh, pulling their light towards him. And in one scenario, 
you watch as Eris uses a spell that Tolan used, and she saves you from being eaten by the darkness. Okay. Yeah, but that's like one of the cool things that uh, is about each class. Okay. And so this is inside that large area, that Arcology Center, because as you can see, right. thousands of people can live here in this tiny little space. Right. Uh, I don't know if you've actually ever followed like any real life like Arcology stuff. It's mm -hmm. actually really neat. Um, There's some in I think it was India they're doing, where they made these sort of like, uh huh. They're kind of like box homes. Mm -hmm. And they, they're really modular, so you can actually, like, you know, they're all the same size. You can, like, stack them on each other and stuff like that. But they're all designed to have uh, the walls mm -hmm. are designed to be basically planters. So oh. they all grow, like, grass and foliage on them. Kind of like this? Yeah, a lot like that. Uh, this, I think, is mostly just overgrown, but it, oh, that's yeah. what it looks like. Um, and then, like, the roofs are all... Um, uh, like grass and no, trees? No, um solar panels Over there. oh yeah so it's really cool so it's like super modular and they're like designed to be um really like space efficient mm -hmm. and stuff like that and so it's really interesting like I've, I've i've seen a few of those and it's like a super interesting thing okay that's super cool i i've never really looked at like actual arcology yeah i didn't so. know it was called arcology i just knew that they were doing like cool like, like modern house, architectural modern. design yeah yeah um, of all places, obviously, India is the best, you know. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those, like, it's super important in those areas that are, like, whether it's really overpopulated and stuff. Yeah, they really benefit from that better than, like, right. you know, well, not even, not to say that America wouldn't benefit from it, but, like, yeah, here we have a lot more open areas. Right, it's not quite a necessity yet here. We don't have nearly half as many people living in yeah. the same space. I had, um, we had an intern on our uh -huh. team recently. Oh, hello. It sounded like it was like, oh, no. You shouldn't be here. No, no the master will not be happy. No, I'm going to shoot you. Oh. oh. I was watching my shows. Why you got to do this to me, Guardian? Dang it. You Guardian's messing things up again. Anyways, as, as I was saying, uh, we had a uh, intern uh, on our team over the summer uh -huh. who uh, was uh, born in China, mm -hmm. and she was telling us how she grew up in this um, this little town, uh, or like considered a small town comparatively for China. Uh -huh. I was like, yeah, it's, it's like a little small like town, like nobody knows about it. It's got ten million people. And I was like, what? <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, this is a small little place. You know, nobody knows about it. 10 million people. Yeah. You know, but you think about, like, China has a couple billion people population. Like, there's so many. Yeah, and I guess to them, like, 10 million people is just like a drop in the bucket. It's just, it was such, it was so interesting, like, you know, talking to her and hearing her talk about, um, like, her childhood because, like, she was talking about how her family, you know, only have one child, so she was their only child. Oh, oh my god, my what is that thing's face? Uh, it is just an eyeball. That, that is, uh, what is known as a... A, uh... What the fuck are they called? Gene Stealer Primark? Yes, it's a, it's a Primark Gene Stealer. Uh, no, it's, uh... Oh god, a Gorgon. Like, just, like, exploded in... Cyclops? Cyclops. And uh, it's it it just has a giant eye that manifests energy. All right. And it just builds stuff. Festering halls. Actually, this is a pretty cool place. These halls are festering with awesomeness. Ah! Welcome to the party, Guardian. Welcome. Join us, won't you? You won an all expense tra trip to Titan. Hey, da 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 da. Da -da -da. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know either. What happened? Um, so she was talking about her childhood and yeah. stuff, and how it's like I had like ten thousand friends in my call in my high school. Yeah. So it's really interesting. Like, I always find that really fascinating because I know, like, you know, early on in my career mm -hmm. at Blizzard, like one of the things that kind of 
I struggled with, I'll be honest, I struggled with it at first, was, like, the whole idea of, like, thinking globally and, like, thinking about, mm -hmm. like, other regions and stuff like that and really kind of taking that all into account. Mm -hmm. um, and in my current role, uh, I've actually, especially recently, I've had the opportunity to work with our, like, regional project managers and um, product owners and whatnot a lot more. And so it's uh -huh. really cool and really interesting to, like, be able to talk to them. Oh, yeah, and, like, having, kinda, like, the like, actual experience of it. Right, and, like, get their perspectives and stuff like that, and be able to see things from, like, their perspective, and it's really cool and, like, really eye-opening. And mm -hmm. so it's just, like, super neat to see, like, what life is like for people in other countries and stuff like that and how different it is and how similar it is in some ways. Uh-huh. Uh, it's just super cool. That's that's awesome, man. Um, I, I deal with a lot of people from Korea, yeah. South Korea specifically. And uh, one of the things that I've noticed is South Korea is very much like America in many ways, where it's like they have a lot of freedoms. They have a lot of choice to do what they want. Yeah. And, uh, oh, uh, it, it's it's very interesting that the how, you know, similar yet how mm -hmm. different they are. Because, right. like, one of the things that I noticed that's very different from the way they do things, like, in America, when you're given a project, mm -hmm. it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, hey, here's the project, here's the general idea, like, we want you to pick up the ball. And it's like, okay, well, what do you want us to do with the ball? And it's like, oh, we didn't think about that. Uh, you know, we want you to bring the ball back to us. And it's like, okay, um just bring it back to you it's like yeah and so you do whatever it takes to get your job done right uh in korea like a lot of the people that i work with they're like oh no you you don't do whatever it takes you do only what they tell you to yeah interesting and it's very different because it's like we'll we'll get like a project in and this is how like the difference between engineers work in from korea and here yeah is like you know our engineers will ask questions and they'll be like hey what about this what about that you didn't think about this what if we do this and this and this instead and it's like oh you know what that's a good idea do it that way while in you know our when our engineers come fresh off the, the plane and they come to our company and it's like right. they're like okay here's what we want and they're like, okay. And then they do it, like, verbatim. Gotcha. Word for word. They don't try and think about anything. They just try and get the job done. Because uh, in, like, Korea, it's it's a very much a culture of, like, get the job done that your boss wants you to get done. And don't change anything unless they tell you to. Right, yeah. Like, the like they're going to have their vision. And this is what the vision is supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. And if you change that, you're going to get in trouble with your boss, even if it's better. Right. So, uh, it's it's very weird, because, like, I remember when I first started dealing with them, and I didn't really understand their culture, mm -hmm. I was very much like, well, why didn't you fix that prior to this? And they're just like, well, the project never said that. It was not part of this project scope. Right, yeah. And it's like, then change it, because I'm so used to dealing with very Americanized... Right, like, yeah. Yeah. Look at this! It's so big in here. It is rather huge. I want. I wish I could go into that area out there and explore. Yeah, because that that just looks awesome. <clears throat> so when you do um, when you do story missions, are they like instanced? Like are they? Do you? Cause it looks because it looks like you load in and there's no other players there. Mm-hmm. So are they like they're instanced. Okay. So cool. I get my instance, but if you wanted to, you can join in with right. me. Right. Um, you know, but uh, other persons can't just randomly show up. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Me too. Like, I love, like, World of Warcraft and stuff like that, but it's always something that's kind of bothered me. It's like, you're doing a story <laughs> mission, and it's like, oh, this is the most important mission. We have to defeat the enemy general. We can only trust you, Torastotl. Yeah. And, you're and like, there's like 10 other people doing it, and you're all just standing around waiting for the general to respawn. You're like, well, this kind of destroys a little bit of the fantasy. Yeah, right? I mean, the most recent WoW expansions have gotten better at that, because they, they actually started doing like instances and scenarios and stuff like that. Mm hmm What is going on? So there's this thing, and it's firing a beam into the oh. sun. But it's like destroying a planet behind it, and it looks like it's feeding materials yeah. into it. Of their leader, Dominus Gaul. Gaul has subjugated hundreds of worlds. 
those that resisted no longer exist. You see, the Almighty annihilates stars. And so that weapon is called the Almighty, and what it does is it makes a star supernova. Right. Ah. All I can hear is the Sephiroth music now. Was that his... That was oh, his that ultimate was his, ability. That was his ultimate, that's right. Yeah, no Supernova. Sorry, I was sitting here and I was like, One Winged Angel, no, that's not right. And I was like, Meteor? No. I did find it hilarious that the whole point of that game was trying to stop Sephiroth from, from calling down Meteor to destroy uh -huh. the planet. And then like you get into the fight and he has an ability called Supernova where he blows up the, the solar system. And you're like, what the fuck was the point of the Meteor? This yeah. is way stronger. Right? It's like, th that makes no sense. Yeah. He just d destroyed an entire gal a universe. Galaxy, planet, whatever. I mean, those are all very different in size. I know, but he just he just supernova shit. He just like, fucking blew up a sun, bitch. Man, Zavala's looking tired. Yeah. Really sad. He's so sad. We built our yeah. home under the protection of the Traveler. When our enemies attacked, we built a wall that stood for centuries. But now walls mean nothing. Yeah, of course. This enemy has taken our home, taken our light, and now they threaten our very existence. We're going all in on this almighty. How long before the fleet's combat ready? Zavala, wait. If we wait, we die. But if we attack together, we can take back our home, our light, our hope. Or we die trying. Now, Do, um... I need my fire team. I need Ikora and Cade. Do, uh... What are they called? Awoken? Do they come in various, like, skin colors? Yep. Okay. Are they all, like, ranges of blue? Or... Yeah. Okay. Ranges of blue from light blue to, like, medium dark purple. Yeah, because, like, uh... What's his name? Zavala is very, like, light purplish. Mm-hmm. And you're Mystique? Yeah. Well, I can't see myself. Yeah. But yes, you are absolutely right. They come in varying shades of blue. Okay. Let's see. Can we go to Nessus, or do we need to level up? I bet you we're going to have to level up. Yeah, we got to get another level. It requires another slide. Yeah. All so right. So close. Yeah, super close. Ooh, that's a, that's a huge bump. Yeah, it's a very good jump. Well, I guess uh, when we come back next, we will be in Nessus. Yay. Bye, everyone. <laughs>